Good morning. Today is virtue. In fact, this is the last specific virtue, I think, for the whole year. Then I think we start reviewing, perhaps. But this is a big one, like they all are, right? These are the way that we become more like God, who is perfect, all holy. He's the best. And that's what we strive to be more like. And so every week when we talk about this, we're trying to train ourselves, right? To take those little steps to get better every day. Are we going to fix everything all at once and after you hear this talk, miraculously be the most loyal person in the world because this this week's is loyalty? No, but can we be a little bit better every day? Absolutely. Just like we take any big project, and break it down into pieces. We gotta do that with everything. Otherwise, it becomes overwhelming. We aren't perfect. God knows that. He made us. He knows everything about us. And if we try to take on everything and be perfect, we will get discouraged. And then it turns us like the other direction. So we wanna take baby steps a little bit better every day break it down then the goal is obviously that we're always getting better and that's what we're striving for with the virtues so this week is loyalty and the definition of loyalty is fidelity to the truth and fidelity if you look it up actually means loyalty which isn't extremely helpful but fidelity or loyalty are the strict observance of promises or duties So we hold ourselves to the truth, whatever situation that might be. And let's take it a little bit more middle school-ish and think about loyalty with friendship. Loyalty is a big deal. If you can't count on somebody to be there, can you count on them for anything? It's kind of like that trust thing where if it's broken, It's really hard to build back. Can it be done? Absolutely. But it takes a lot of work when you break it. So as friends, we are loyal to each other. We stand up for each other. We have each other's backs, and that's a beautiful thing. So now let's talk about loyalty in regards to the virtue and what God wants from us with loyalty. And that is to defend the virtues that are upheld by the Catholic Church. The truth of the Catholic Church. We think about society and this new phrase about my truth. I have my truth, you have your truth. No. There is the truth. And we've learned about that, right? Who is the truth? God. Who's the father of lies? The devil. It's always easier for me to wrap my head around these concepts when I can put them kind of in one extreme or the other. Because to me, it makes it so obvious. So we have God who is truth and goodness and peace and promise and that warm feeling inside. And then we have lies and the devil, and discouragement, and darkness. When I can think of things in those extremes, it makes it so simple. Oh, it seems simple. So why is it so hard? Right? Why is it so hard? Because we are human, and we are weak, and we have desires And we want things right now. And so many times that leads us to give in to temptation and to give in to sin. And when our world is trying to tell us, live your own truth, whatever makes you feel good, whatever feels good in the moment, that's a lie. That's not the message from God. And we have to stand up for the truth and be loyal to it. 
When we know that things are wrong, that's when our loyalty is tested. When society tells you one thing and you're like, that's not what I learned about what God would want. Are you going to be loyal? Are you going to be loyal and stand up for that goodness? The God who loves you so much that he gave his life for you and loves you more than anybody on this planet possibly can. And let me tell you, young people, the love your parents have for you is amazing. And so when you think about a God who loves you infinitely more than that, it literally blows my mind. That is amazing. So are we going to stand up for that? Or are we going to fall for the one who is filling us with lies that wants nothing more to destroy us? There is no love there. The motivation of that darkness is to hurt the one who loves us. There's nothing. We're just pawns in that. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be a pawn. We need to stand up for what is right. Our world wants to tell us that life can be inconvenient, that it can be too big of a burden, the gift of life given by God. We need to be loyal to that. Life is precious from the moment of conception until the moment of death. And the attack on life just never ends. The father of lies. We're fighting for it at the beginning of life, and we hear more and more about it at the end of life. We have to be loyal. And you are the up-and-coming generation. Putting a big weight on your shoulders, you guys. We are depending on you to stand up for the truth and be loyal. Do not believe the lies. And when you are in circles with people talking, you are all amazing. Leaders, well-spoken, have great heads on your shoulders. We need your voices in the future to stand up for the truth. Because with the truth, you are going to feel that love, that warmth, that peace that we only find in God, our Father. We can search the world over. We can grab onto every shiny thing. We can grab onto every lie that is told to us. And we will never find the peace that we will find with God. And so this week, let's focus on loyalty. Being loyal to the God who loves you, has loved you so much, it's the reason you're sitting here. Let's show and prove our loyalty time and time again as we stand up for all of the virtues. Have a good week.